morning. Happy Friday. Let's go ahead and get ready to uh, get started. Make sure you've got a chair nearby. Start marching it out. So our format today is going to be just a little different. Um, just a little. We're going to have a block of cardio. Take a break. Do some strength. Do another block of cardio. Do some strength. So get a lot of blocks of cardio uh, throughout this workout. So let's get those legs up, arms are movement opposite, keep that chest lifted, remember to breathe. And let's start with a step to the side, stepping side to side, bring those arms up, elbows stay out to the side, just bring the arms out and in. Make sure your shoulders are dropped. So shoulders are dropped. Cha-cha. Good. Now take the arms. Alternate in front. Scissors. Got a scissor, but as you extend, you pull back. You're squeezing your back muscles. Remember, I don't want you just flailing your arms. It's squeeze. Get all those muscles into the movement. Ready? Taking it to toe taps. Snap those fingers. It's Friday. We're going to make a little noise today. I like making noise on Friday. Keep those eyes forward. Stand up nice and straight. And breathe. We're going 
get ready to do two steps to the right with our um, arm circles or those big window washes. Ready? Here we go. Make sure you're picking your feet up off the floor. Big steps. Circle. Reach up to the ceiling. Reach up. So don't make these little circles. Now, if you've got shoulder issues, obviously, you're going to modify it, move where you can, but if you don't, I want you, and I challenge you and invite you to reach up, reach back. Heart rates should be coming up. So we're going to get ready here in just a quick sec. We're going to take it to a right B step for two. Let's keep going so you know what's coming. I'm going to explain two V steps with the right, and then we're going to do a little cha cha step. You might have to watch me on that one, and then we go right to the left. So we're going to be alternating, getting a little coordination, waking up those brains. All right, here we go. And back. Let's go ahead and do a little march. So your cha-cha step is forward, back, one, two, three, okay? March it out, right, knee step, ready, and a second. It's out, together, ready, right, cha-cha, one, two, one, two, three, left. And again, left, cha-cha, one, two, one, two, three, right. Got to follow. Another B step, right cha cha. One, two, one, two, three. Left. So it's two B steps, one cha cha, and switch feet. Right. Ooh, I'm having to think about it. Right cha cha. One, two, one, two, three. Left. So here, left cha cha. One, two, three, right. We're going to do each one more time. Right, cha cha. One, two, one, two, three. Left B step. And again, and a left cha cha. One, two, three. March it out. Deep breath in and out. Let's do it again. Get those arms into it. Ready? Deep breath in and out. Roll those shoulders back. Good job. So, even if you can't follow along with the coordination, and four, three, two, one, break, big, uh, deep breath in. Even just the act of doing the steps is going to work the brain and get those neural pathways and neurons and signals all firing. So it's not so much can you do it, but the act of trying. Okay, let's get our band. Oops, all tangled here. Okay. <clears throat> hey, just to kind of keep our heart rates up a little bit, we're just going to nice, easy side step. Now, if that's hard, if you don't, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you need, you need to uh, stay uh, stable uh, for balance, then just keep your feet side by side. Band pulls. Let's take our palms up. Make sure you have no slack here. You're going to squeeze and pull it back. Bring those elbows behind you. Squeeze those back muscles together. Let it out. Do not let this go to slack. I want you to keep tension on it. Grab that band. Grab your hands a little closer together. I'm challenging you. Grab them closer together. And pull. Squeeze. Good. Squeeze. 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 Squeeze, 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 squeeze. We're going to do 10 more. And 10, 9, 8, 7, controlling the um, return, 5. So don't let your hands just slap back out. 3, 
two, and squeeze, and last one, and shake it out. All right, push-ups. So remember, with your push-ups, you can have your hands on the back of the chair, you can have your hands on the arms of the chair, and you can have your hands on the seat of the chair. So either way, whichever height you choose, and if you're home, you can use a kitchen counter, the back of a sofa, just make sure your item is stable. And we're gonna go ahead and get your, put your hands down wherever at the height you want. I want you to step your feet back. So even if you're using the chair arms, you still step your feet back. Oh, my ball's going away. Make sure you're in a nice straight line, okay? Pull that belly button in. You are, we're not dipping our hips and we're not popping them up. It's all in the arms. Ready? Let's take it down and push it up all the way. Take it down. Now, if you can only do a little one, that is okay. Just do a little one. Good, all the way up. Do what you can. Breathe, keep your abs tight. Do not move your body. It's your upper body that's doing all the work. Keep your head in line with your spine. Come down. And one. And two. We have two more. Three. Four. Good. Come on up. Woo. Shake it out. Shake it out. Kind of roll those shoulders back. Let's take our hands behind our body, pull down and back. Breathe. Stretching out the chest. I want you to also think about lifting your chest up as you pull down and back. Be a nice little stretch across the front of the chest, across the front of the shoulders. Now give yourself a big hug. Walk those fingers back. Just pull those shoulder blades apart. Okay, we have our next cardio blast. If you need water, get a sip, get a quick sip. Always have water with you so you can sip it when you need it. Okay, march it out. Sorry, I have my notes here. So we're gonna take it to some heel digs. Take it to heel digs, let's push it down. So push, like you're really pushing something away. So create that tension in your arms. Again, I don't want to just see these floppy, you know, noodle arms. Push, push. Spread your fingers. Use the palm of your hand. Push. And breathe. And push. Good. Ready? We're going to take it to a march. Get your knees up. We're going to take big arms. Reach. Big arms reaching overhead. Reaching. Make sure you breathe. And last one. Ready? We're going back to heel fix. Push. Push. Extend that leg. Heel down. Toes to the ceiling. Push. 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 And breathe. And smile. Ready? We're going to the march. Big arms. Arms up. Take them up. So, again, move where you can or never move into pain. Make sure you're picking those feet up off the floor. No lazy feet. Breathe.
All right, we've got a new move coming up. We're gonna just tap our right foot out in front. Okay, for eight, we're gonna have speed bag arms. So it's like this, we're gonna just tap. Ready? Arms are speed bagging. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, switch direction with your arms. Five, six, seven, eight, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do one more time on each. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. March it out. Ready? Heel digs. Push it down. Push. Push. Good. March it out. Ready? Big arms. Up. And down. Up. Down. Good. Up. Down. Up. Breathe. Make sure the shoulders aren't hiking up. One more time. Get ready. Right toe taps for eight. Speed back arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch. Try to make that switch really fast. Six, seven, eight. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Seven, eight. Again, switch arms. Go the other direction. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. March it out. We're going to add on two side steps for the hops. It's going to look like this. One, two. One, two. Hey. One, two. Yay. Scream. Make some noise. Yay! I'm making all about myself. Making these noises. Two. Hey. Hey. Hey, it's much more fun when you have a group of people. That's one. Hey, march it out. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. And out. All right. All right, take it down. Shake out those arms. Let's take it to the back stroke. Just loosen up their shoulders a lot. Of, we had a lot of shoulders in that one. And let's take a deep breath in. Lift those arms up. And exhale. And just come down a little bit. And roll up, inhale, and exhale. Good. One more time, inhale. This time let's inhale all the way up. All the way up, exhale, bring your elbows down like cactus, squeeze the back muscles. Inhale, back up, palms together, and bring it down in front. All right. So our second strength blast, and then we have two more. We have another cardio blast and um, another strength blast, and then we'll stretch. So we're going to actually get our ball. We're going to do squats with an overhead reach. So we're going to use the ball. If you can't touch the floor, that's okay. But it's going to be here. Um, I want you to just use it as you squat down to try to touch. And then we're going to come up and lift the ball to the ceiling. So I want you to make sure, um, think about when you squat, is that your hips are coming back. You start the movement with your hips. Always think of trying to touch a ball behind you. That's always your start. 
Your abs are tight, your knees, remember your knees always go over your laces. And then squeeze those glutes on the way up. Ready? Here we go. We're coming down. Keep your chest lifted. Push it up. Squeeze the ball between the palms of the hands. And down. Squeeze that ball between the palms of your hands as you lift. Relax. Come down. Abs tight. Eyes are forward. Look at me. Good. And down. Squeeze all the way up. And down. Squeeze the ball between the palms. Lift. Relax. Down. Squeeze. And squeeze.
arch it wide. And we're going to bring our, our heels up towards our bum. Palms are forward, arms down, shoulders down. Press it back, squeeze those back muscles. And breathe. <clears throat> it out. Go again. Tap those hips. Tap the hips. Good. Here we go. March it wide. Hamstring curls. So make sure you're bringing your heels up and back. You're not lifting your knees. Pull it back. Pull it back. I'm trying to kick your bum. I'm trying to kick your bum. It's getting a squeeze in the back of the thigh, those hamstrings. So our next move is we're going to take a step back. Big step back, kind of like a backward lunge, but we're going to rotate and face back. So if the rotation, and last one, good, march it out. So if that rotation this is going to challenge your balance, just do the step back or stay behind your chair or next to it and hold on as you look back. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to go sideways a little, and it's going to be step back, reach, come back. Step back. We're going to do two. Then switch direction. Step back. Good. And let's go. Reaching. Good. Switch sides. And back. And switch, two, big step back, turn that leg, so notice that I'm turning my foot, good, and switch, and switch, one more time on each side, and switch, good, and march it out, let's do that all through one more time, now that you know, ready? Hip. And breathe. Get ready? Take it wide and hamstring curls. Bum butt kicks. Try to kick your bum. Press it back. Squeeze those back muscles together. Again, don't just move your arms like that. Squeeze. Squeeze your back muscles together. You pull your arms back. And ready? Here we go. We're going to step it back. And again. Switch. And reach. And again, switch. And switch. And, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Switch. Here we go. Two on the left. Two on the right. And one more time. Two on the left. Again, you do not have to do the rotation. Two on the right. So if you're getting dizzy and you're balanced, let's march it out. Deep breath right in. And your balance is a little uh, unsteady with that. Just do the step back. All right, again, deep breath in. And here comes our last breath block. All right, let's get our band again. <clears throat> We're gonna take our right leg and put that on the band. Put it in the center of the band. Your other leg back. Again, you can keep your feet side by side also if you want more stability, okay? 
This is going to be an upright row. So I want you to just watch me, please, do the first one so that you're not using, I don't want you using your shoulders and your, your, your upper shoulders here. All right. So it's about, it's all about lifting with the elbows. You're going to lift with the elbows. Notice that my arms do not go any higher and my hands are going to stay below my shoulders and below my elbow. So what I'm not doing is I'm not doing this, all right? So you want to squeeze your shoulder blades. This is, I want you to row. So squeeze your shoulder blades as we bring our elbows up. Ready? Make sure you, this knee is forward. You have a little bend. Weight is towards the heel. Shoulders down. Ready? Lift your elbows. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. If you need to, I challenge you, grab a little bit more band and lift and lift. Working shoulders, working upper back. Good. And lift. Lift. <clears throat> and lift. And breathe. Good. Lift. Oh, I lost count. Let's say it's eight. Nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two. We're doing a lot of upper body and back today. And last one. Good. All right. So we're going to um, switch leg, but we're not going to be on the band. We're going to take the band. First, I want you to wrap it around your hands so that you can grab it like this, all right? Arms are gonna be at 90, but I do want your right leg out. If you can stand in this position, you're in your split stance, split lunge, split stance. Arms are up, so you can see how my arms are out at 90, and I'm gonna open out to the side. Keeping my arms at 90. Again, I'm squeezing those back muscles. Good. Then open. Open. All back muscles squeeze together. Lift your chest. And breathe. <clears throat> and we have five more, and then we're stretching. And five, four, Three, two, and one. Woo, put that band down. Shake it out. Give yourselves a big hug. Walk those fingers back. Good. Shake it out. And switch arms. When your arm goes over, walk your fingers back as far as you can. Pulling those shoulder blades apart. Good. I want you to grab your strap and stretch out a little bit more of that upper body and those shoulders. <clears throat> Take the strap in your left hand, drop it behind you. You're going to grab the strap with your right hand. You can use a loop. You can grab through the loop. And wherever is comfortable for you, use your right hand to pull down. That's going to lift that left arm up and stretch out that tricep, the back of that arm. I'm going to get my wire. Lifting that elbow up. Try to keep your arm as close to your ear as possible and make sure that shoulder stays down. Do not hike the shoulder up to your ear. Drop it down. The easiest way to do that is lift your chest. It's really hard to lift your shoulder. Now using your left hand, I want you to bring it up. Just raise it. Bringing your right hand further up your back. 
Yeah, you can go ahead and bring it across your shoulder so you don't have to have your arm up. Again, whatever is comfortable for you. You can feel this stretch in that uh, right shoulder. I'm doing this partway with my back to you so that you can see what I'm doing behind me, behind. Good, and so now let's switch. Take that strap in the right hand, drop it behind you. Now you can always do this stretch without the strap if you want, but the strap really can help get that stretch a little deeper. <clears throat> and let's start by pulling, or taking our left hand and pulling the strap down, lifting our right arm up to the ceiling. Notice that my elbow is pointing to the ceiling. So I'm getting a nice stretch in my tricep. My chest is lifted, and I'll face you now, so everybody's in the same position. Chest is lifted, make sure your shoulder is down. Breathe. Good, now go ahead and lift your back arm up using your strap. You can lift it this way, you can take it over your shoulder, whatever is comfortable for you. And breathe again, stand up straight, keep that chest lifted, keep those shoulders down, and breathe, and out. Good job. Keep, let's hold on to the strap for a second, and take our hand, put our hand um, in one loop, and then put your hand in the other loop. And again, you do not have to use the strap if you don't want, want to. And if you need to hold on to the chair, you can just use your arm. So pushing your hands to the side um, so that you have some tension in here. Um, we're just going to take those arms up where you can. And using the side of your or your right hand, your right hand is going to pull down. So it's going to pull that left arm over your body. I mean, this left, yeah, this left hand is going to pull your arm over. Good. Take it up and now use your left hand and pull it over and breathe. Good. Bring it right down to shoulder height and just rotate. But keep pushing against the inside of your loop. Shoulders are down. Just rotate a little bit. Good. Breathing. Let's put the strap down and take a big step back with that right leg. Make sure you're near your chair. Again, we did this for those of you who did the class yesterday. If you, you can keep your feet on the floor like this and push for, you know, and, and work. Or if you prefer, you can take one leg up onto the chair. And let's push this back heel down into the floor. Make sure you, this, your, your forward knee, your raised knee, whether you're standing on the floor or you've got it up on a chair, you do not push it past the top of your toes, okay? So your knee should never be way out here, okay? In fact, sometimes I like to just try to keep it at about a nice straight line, about a right angle to my foot. So pushing your back foot, try to push that back heel into the floor. If you need to use the chair arms to get a little leverage, that's okay as well. If you're on the, with your feet on the floor, you're just gonna push down just like we always have. Okay, so come bring your body up and you're gonna push that back hip forward. <clears throat> if you've got your leg raised, you can think of pushing kind of forward and down. And again, on the floor, you're just gonna push forward. Again, a little forward and down is how I kind of tend to do it, but it's important to keep your body up 
up nice and straight. When you start to fall forward, you start to lose that stretch because we're stretching this out. But if I come forward now, instead of my muscles being stretched, now I'm taking them in again. Good, relax and go again. So same thing, if your foot's up on a chair, you're gonna push and then relax. Good, now right here, you can, um, you can keep your leg up and sit back. Now you're getting your hamstring stretch. Here on the floor, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna just sit back on that hip. So the same leg is behind. We're not gonna lift it up and over. We're just gonna go ahead and stretch our left hamstring. Pull your toes to the ceiling. So if it's up on the chair, you're sitting back. Again, this is gonna require a lot more stability and balance. So either make sure you have something else nearby to grab or make sure you're feeling really stable. Good, and come on up. Now let's switch. So if you're on the floor, you'll take a big step back with your left leg and push that heel into, this, into the floor. Or you can take that leg up onto the chair and come a little forward. Now push that back heel down. You can use the arms of the chair again to get that leverage. Make sure this back foot is also straight. <clears throat> and breathe. Good. Bring your body upright and let's push that hip forward. Same thing on the floor, just gonna be upright. Make sure you're up nice and straight. Again, no falling forward. You wanna be up nice and straight, push forward. Good, relax and push it forward again. And breathe. Good, now sit back, go ahead and get your heel down on that right leg, your forward leg. You're gonna sit back on that left hip, lifting your right toes up to the ceiling. Pull those toes, try to get them pointing up or pointing to your nose. You can always reach if you want. Getting that stretch up the back of the leg. And breathe. Good. Take your leg down, shake it out a little bit. Let's take that right leg behind the left. Again, you can do this with or without arms. You can take your hands overhead and bend. I want you to ground that right foot into the floor, push your right hip down. So pushing your right hip to the floor as you bring your body over. And breathe. Good, see, hopefully you're feeling a stretch down into that hip. Good, come on up, uncross, and take the left foot behind the right, arms are up, and come over. Pushing your hip to the floor. Good, and come up. All right, shake it out. And let's get a nice deep breath in. Ready, deep breath in, reach. And exhale. And again, deep breath in. And exhale. And one more time, deep breath in. And exhale. Thank you and have a great day.